Hi, my friends. I don't know if you still have snow outside of your house, but I still have some outside of mine. So I thought I would read one of my favorite books called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night and it covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toys, toes pointing out like this, and then he walked with his toes pointing in like that. Can you see the difference in his footprints? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Hmm, I wonder what it was. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Can you see how his little footprints He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman, and he made angels in the snow. Do you know how to make a snow angel? He pretended he was a mountain climber, and he climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow, and then he slid all the way down. That's a lot of snow. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket, but his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Mm, I wonder where the snowball went. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Well, my friends, if you still have snow outside your house, maybe you can see what kind of prints or tracks you can make in the snow. Maybe you can use a stick or maybe even bring some of your toy animals outside. And if you don't have snow outside your house, I wonder what other things you could use. Maybe you could try making footprints in your Play-Doh or maybe you could try using paint to paint footprints onto a paper. I wonder what kind of amazing adventures you guys will have today.